cute is this balloon? This balloon is adorable. My Monday client is so amazing. My birthday was yesterday, so I go in and they have me these flowers, which is so amazing. These yellow ones, like lilies. It's just beautiful. And they gave me a Visa card too, with a little money. So they're just really, really sweet. I really like them. So today, my client, I was working on a lot of things, so I was super busy all day. I'm doing a lot of marketing emails. I'm uh, trying to get the store set up for Amazon, and I'm thinking about starting my own Shopify store, and because I've always wanted to design clothing, and I found that there's a really cool way for me to have my clothing line on a Shopify store. So I'm kind of thinking about that and hooking it up to Instagram and also selling my art because I love sculpting and like creating fun stuff with clay and also painting and doing things like that mixed media which I've not done in forever but I want to get back into that and like embroidering um things like all these stuff so I think I want to try that this summer but um we might be moving which I spent all this week just like really processing it's not it's not guarantees but I still had to process and think about it because it's a potential thing and I really like where I'm at right now and I really like my friends and I really like my group and I like my routine and I needed to start to envision like what my life would look like if we did move to this area and what my daily routine would be and kind of get myself excited for it or else I'd I just it would be too much you know of just like change and uncertainty because I've had to really like roll with the punches um, pretty much my entire life as far as like a lot of uncertainty and you know income and job uncertainties and things like that but especially through the pandemic like I really with how uncertain the world was and how uncertain it was for me to be able to go where I want to go and do the things that I want to do with the state that the world was in was just a lot of stress and anxiety and so I've just now started to feel like I'm coming out of that survival mode that I've been in my entire life without even realizing it. But I don't want this sudden like move and uncertainty again to kind of make me kind of go back into that feeling in that survival mode because it is very uncertain. I'm getting my real estate license and my plan was to work at Redfin. And I know in the area I'm in right now, it's very, it'll be really um, there'll be openings, it'll be very popular, there'll be a lot of showings and things like that, but where we potentially could move to, there's less inventory, and I would probably have to drive a lot more, and I don't know if there would be enough to keep me super busy and give, I could make enough money to pay bills with that, like that was my plan, and now it's just like having that uncertainty again around income, and I've already had that uncertainty for going on three years, and before that, my whole life. Uh, but especially through the last three years. Um, so it's just, it was a lot to process and I'm still like, okay, like this is going to be a good thing. I think like I still envisioning my life and I'm like, all right, it's going to be fun. Like it's going to be a fun adventure. I'll figure it out. I'll start a Shopify store. I'll do something like I'll really, I'll pay for advertising. I guess I've never paid for advertising and I want to try to do that if I started a store. So that way because I like the number one thing when you're a small business, you don't make a bunch of sales like larger corporations because they have a huge budget and marketing team just for advertising to their ideal client and letting people know brand awareness. And that's one thing that really hurts small businesses is that they don't have the budget and they also don't have the marketing department to be able to create the designs and the, the nice themes that will draw people in and captivate them. And I feel like I kind of have, I could have both because I, I know I have the eye for it in the design part, but I don't have a designer degree. So I can't create things completely from scratch, like graphics and stuff like that or logos, but I can utilize what I have and create things that look pretty professional and pretty good. And if I just back them up with advertisement, like dollars, then I could start driving traffic to my website or whatever I decide to launch my arts. Um, I don't know. So I might start experimenting with that. But of course, like with anything, before I can put money into that type of thing, I need a good steady income coming in through Redfin and my real estate license so I can pay my bills and then use that extra money to build other 
avenues and revenues and things like that. And so that's just what I'm thinking about like what I'm going to be doing, but it's a little bit, it's a little scary, like all the potential change. And if it does happen, like we're going to have to move really fast. And Jason kind of wants to buy when we move because we thought if we're going to pay to move and pack and unpack and all that stuff, we definitely want it to be in a house so Molly can quit barking. We put up for four years, her attacking and barking at every single thing outside the door, outside the window, um, any cars beeping, people talking, everything. Like she's super, super reactive. And we would, I just want to get her a house so then she could be more calm we could be more calm and so we've decided that we would get a house and it has a yard for her because she never gets to go outside and the cost of that is just really high to rent a place and we would just potentially have to move again and pay that moving cost and having a german shepherd and trying to find a place to live is really hard because you're dealing with small time landlords and they can kind of have they can like deny you based on certain things. So I don't necessarily trust that they would approve her and all that kind of stuff, even though she is um, an emotional support animal. But I don't know if they would still approve her. I mean, they don't have to say they're denying us because of that. I just don't necessarily, I don't trust small landlords because in Mississippi, I had a landlord and I didn't know my tenant rights or anything like that, but they would come in unannounced. We weren't there, but they would come in. We noticed that they would come in and like do something or they would come in and I don't know what they were doing. Like they would just come in and I just, one time we left for like Christmas break or something and it, we were in a hurry and trying to get back to our family and stuff. And I had finals. And so the house was kind of messy and they had gone in and just felt a little weird for someone to be, in my house without me knowing and without me preparing for them so there's like laundry and stuff everywhere and it just felt kind of like a violation and so i don't really trust like small landlords because i feel like that this is something that is kind of a gray area that they they don't necessarily follow strict laws and rules and things they kind of bend it a little bit and they do things like that so i would just rather we either work with a large corporation and so that we would they would know the laws and the rules i would hope and or we would just buy our own place because buying our own place would almost be the same as renting maybe slightly more but at least it would be our own place and i wouldn't have somebody telling me that i can't take my aquarium because aquariums really are not i don't know people don't uh, landlords don't want aquariums and they don't want amphibian type animals and i am into all of that like amphibians and aquatic stuff and i want to get a corgi they have limits on how many pets you can have it's just like our whole family would not be accepted and i just wouldn't feel comfortable i don't think so i really want us to buy but again like we don't know the area very well we've hardly been to it and it's really far away from us well not crazy far but it's far enough to be a change and we don't know like we would have like a few weeks just to like find the house close on it we need to get pre-approved like things could move really really fast and it's it's just scary to think about because right now I'm trying to really study every day for my real estate license and this would be right around the same time that I would be having to get a place and like try to close on it and try to get approved and try to get all those documents and you know, take my real estate license and get all that stuff submitted and sent in and studying and packing. I know packing is going to mainly fall on me because last time we moved, it fell on me. I had to quit my jobs, have no income, and I had only a few weeks to pack up our entire house and like figure things out and get a storage unit and book Airbnbs, route our trip across the country and come out here, have the Airbnb for so many days while the pod kept our stuff and then we found the place it was just a lot of stuff on me to like really prepare and do and a lot of stress and anxiety and also going to a new area without a job and without an income and already not having an income for so long and i'm in the same boat having an income in so long and i'm gonna have to be trying to get my certifications and passing the test so that i could have income but at the same time all this other stuff's gonna be happening and it's just a lot so that's what potentially could be happening in the next month, month, 
two months, you know, probably a month and a half, all of these things are just gonna be happening all at once. And yeah, I don't know. And my client is down here and I don't wanna have to drive like so super, super far once a week to go to my client. So I'd probably have to raise my rates on that, which I already was thinking about doing, but I'd have to raise them significantly to cover gas is super expensive and my time and wear and tear on my car. I just don't know. And I really like them because they got me a balloon and they got me some flowers. I like helping people and that's the thing. I want, I see their potential and I want them to do well and I know I can help and so I do it. But, and I don't know if there's gonna be any potential in the area we're going. It's mostly a college town. It's smaller. It's more racist and things. It just, I don't want to go back to an area that reminds me of the South. And so I'm just like that too. I'm like, oh gosh, like, I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll just see. I mean, Jason's like, if we don't like it, like we just have to stay there for two years and then we can move. But I kind of want us to find a place and kind of stay there for a while. That way we can kind of put roots down. Mm -hmm.